So we're out again, it's New Year's Eve today. Last week was Christmas Eve, and we're parked pretty much in the same place as we were last time, but we're down in the Garrett Heritage Centre. Should you leave Jack in there? Yeah, some stocks for Jack there. <laughs> Where were we here last week? Somewhere like really similar. And right by where we've parked, in the Heritage Centre, there's a cache. Here. So the first cache is nearby. So the plan today is there's a cache right by where we're parking, probably in this Ford. Probably in this log. Oh. You gotta get across this Ford. Uh, there's a bridge. There's a bridge. Oh, that's a good idea. Um, have you got wet feet? Still another. Oh, the GPS is mucking around. So it's around 20 meters down, about that way. So we're going, yeah, so we're going towards kind of three cliffs. Up on Pennard, there's a puzzle cache and there are a couple of other caches I think to try and get. And then if the tide is right, we might go down, cross the river at three cliffs and go up the other side and there's two more caches and a weird earth cache over there which we're going to have a look at. We've been in Cheltenham all week. I found one cache, we've done a fair bit of walking and a lot of mountain biking and stuff. Training started this week for Xterra, six month build up, so I did my first long run this morning so my legs are tired. So when these two are complaining they're tired then. <laughs> oh, muddy, muddy what have you been doing? <laughs> well, I'm not sure about the GPS, so this one's in the car park at the Gower Heritage Centre. And the GPS is all over the shop. old railway carriage made into a cinema yeah. so it's here it's on the other side of it Whoa. found it first one found oh. another trackable so we'll pick that one up we oh, got warm hand all right first cash found one trackable picked up. I've got a trackable in my pocket from Cheltenham to drop off somewhere as well. We'll drop that up, up at uh, Pennard probably. Somewhere, I think, if they're big enough. Yeah. So that was the Gower Heritage Centre. Lots of lovely things to see there and do if you're interested. So now we're off up the hill towards the sea. Oh, that castle. Yeah, that castle. Gower Inn. Three Cliffs. Bay. Which way did we come down last time? Do I want to look at the map? That way we came down. How do we get up the hill? We walk up it. How do we get up the hill? We normally go all the way around, all the way around Is it that way? Is, that, is there a path up there? Can't remember the way up to Pennard Castle. It might be this way. I think we can go up either way. Uh, you're going to have to bend under that one. Come on in. Almost at the top. Ooh, mountain bike tracks. Bridle path. Sponge. Yeah. All right. <laughs> 315 meters. Perfect this direction. But there's another. This is Vic's box. There's also Pennard Pill, which is this puzzle cache. And if we look at this, there are three. Ah, oh, right, so we're going to walk through this point here, look, this red plate, right? So that, so we've got three places to walk to for this puzzle cache, right? Yeah. And each one's got a clue. Then we put the clues together and we get the latitude, longitude for where the cache is. So as we're walking in this direction, on the way to Vic's cache, or whatever it's called. That's weird. That's a golf club. There's these little uh, flags around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think this is actually a golf club 
clue, right? So that's 118 meters in this direction. So if we look at the description, okay, find the word admiral on a red plate. The number after par equals y. So this is the golf course, and there's the there's Pennard Castle over there. There's the water tower, which is another clue we've got to walk to. Nobody's teeing off. Actually, it's a pretty good time to walk through the golf course because it's a bit late for teeing off. Oh look, and there is three cliffs down there. So it's a Admiral. It's par four. So one of the clues is the number four. Look at that view. Why don't I ever play golf here? So that's one clue found. The next clue is at Pennard Castle, which is this way. And Vic's cache Ooh. is in this direction as well. So. I like that route though. The way it kind of like meanders. It's nice, isn't it? You've got a geocache here. Yeah, this is Vic's box. Where do you hide a geocache? Where would you put a geocache? Uh. Kim found that again. So we're on to the next clue for the puzzle cache at Pennard Castle, and we picked this one up on the way. Should I drop this trackable in this one? Yeah, go on. I'm going to drop the trackable I found in Cheltenham in this one. Another number to add to the list of clues. Right, well let's go have a look at the water tower and get the last clue from the water tower. Okay. Yeah, you cut yourself. So the last clue is at the water tower and we can see it from here. So I don't reckon we need to walk to it because it's about the number of legs. Mm. Confident? Concur, yeah. Because if we get it wrong, we're walking to the wrong place. So we've done all the maths. Annabelle and Mum did the working out. We've got our coordinates. I'm going to plumb it into Google Maps. Plum. Oh, and it says it's there, which is the direction I was planning to go in to get the next caches. So it's that way. I reckon it stays up high. I don't know. Let's try and stay up high. Otherwise, we'll have to come back up again. It's not very nice on the leggies. I don't know, it might be down by those trees down there. It might be, as usual with a puzzle cache, if we haven't quite got the numbers right or done the maths right, then <laughs> we could be walking into a bush in the middle of nowhere. Um, is that a path down there? Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. How are we going to get down here? Don't know. Oh good. This would be a good place to hide a cache. Yeah. I'm in the trees now, but it reckons it's round here somewhere. Maybe a bit further down. Oh. We could have got the numbers completely wrong and we could just be in the wrong place. I wanted to go down the hill anyway to get over there to get the other cache on the other side of the valley at some point but it's a problem with Google, there's no sense of... Oh yay! Mum's found it. Yay! That was a good one. Good find. How did you spot? Found it! Okay. Right, let's find our way out of this bush. So let's find our way out of the bush, then we're going to go down and follow the river on this side. Uh, Alright. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's, I bet this is worse in summer. <laughs> right, down the path. And uh, yeah, I'm glad the weather's a bit nice in Balls! What the? I can see a tyre in the... There's an earth cache. Yes. Which is like a series of circular stones in the ground somewhere. And I don't remember ever seeing them. What? So now we're going down the valley and there's two caches in the hillside over there. So there's one up that dune and I think there's one up there somewhere. So there are some stepping stones. We'll cross the river at the stepping stones. There they are. That's rough one. Thank you. <laughs> There's the three cliffs. And um, we went across the beach. Um, circle. I don't know where the circle is, that's the point. Sorry, those are squares. I thought it was circles. What's that? Sand. Oh, oh yeah! I'm going to do you're so smart than the whole lot of us. That's what it was on about, that circle of stones. Annabelle found it, how did you spot that? Genius. Very good. Cash is not at the above coordinates. It's another puzzle, but... Should you do a cache? Yeah. yeah! Let's see. Let's see that face. It's weird, isn't it? <laughs> weird. Oh. Couldn't find the geocache, but found that. Found. Couldn't suss that one out. Bit of a head scratcher. I'll go home and have a look at the website. It might make more sense then. Don't think I can work it out from the app. Um, so we're going up the hill on the other side, and there's a cache up here. What did I say it was called? Best kept secret. And there's a helicopter out in the bay. Doing something. Have we gone past it? No. Before we were at the top, we were. but we're still going up again. Didn't know this path was here. Uh, 90 meters up. Ah, uh, yeah, this cache is called Best Kept Secret. And this is a bit of a secret path, secret ladder, secret steps. Bet the view's gonna be great up here. Is that what the secret is? The view. Oh. I still don't know where this cache is though. Pretty sure this path isn't on the map either. Blimey! Yeah. I mean, we've been to three cliffs a lot, and this is a new spot for us. Yeah. But, all right, fork in the path. Oh, this is brilliant. Um, that way. Great view over to our house, which is We're there. And how's about that? How's about that for a place with a bench? Annabelle, there's a bench wow. for you. Great bench. Is it a good cash? Yeah, there's a stick in there. Oh, loads of good stuff. And we're, gonna, and we're going to add the funny man thing we found, do we? Yeah. Found it! It's getting dark. Yeah. And the last oh, geocache I want to get is down there. The van is down there. There's one on the way back to the beach, so I'm going to try and find that before it gets dark. But it's a micro, so it might be a bit tricky. 150 metres that way. Surfers, horses, they're horses, yeah. So this geocache is at a fir tree that was planted 
when the fella's uncle's ashes were scattered here like 40 odd years ago. So we're looking for a fir tree and a micro cache in the dark. Well there's a fir tree. Yeah it's here. I'm quite good at finding micros. Let's have a look. Through them but I thought they wouldn't be. Brilliant. Oh, Jack, Jack found Jack it. Was it? <laughs> so we looked in that place like a hundred times then Jack looked there and found it. Nice. Oh that was hard. Oh I'm glad we found that. That was good. Very <laughs> nice. Right, is there a pencil in there? No, you need a pencil to sign it. So down the hill, back to the sand dunes, back to the beach, cross over the stones again, follow the sandy path, don't have to go back up the hill, just follow the sandy path up by the river and we'll be back in the van, in the dark. And the kids have got head torches for Christmas, yeah. so you two can see where you're going, I can't find my head torch so I can't see where I'm going. Yeah.